Google has quietly released something that feels like it came from the future. A model that can pull live information straight from Google search, recreate celebrities inside huge group photos without needing a single reference shot, rebuild centuries-old paintings in a modern world while keeping the entire storyline consistent, generate comic strips with stable characters and clean dialogue, and even turn GPS coordinates into a real photo of the exact building at that location. And the crazy thing is that this launch did not come with a big event or any hype, it appeared out of nowhere. And the first reactions online were basically, wait, this looks like AGI level reasoning inside an image model. They call it Nano Banana Pro, or officially Gemini 3 Pro Image, and honestly, this is the biggest step forward in image generation since the whole industry began. So let us break down what actually happened. The first moment that stunned everyone was that wild recreation of William Hogarth's A Rake's Progress, but updated to the year 2025. The original paintings from the 1800s tell the story of a young man rising through society and then crashing down. Nano Banana Pro recreated that entire emotional journey in modern form with unbelievable detail. You see the main character getting rich through Dogecoin, energy drink cans all over the place, old job uniforms from gig delivery apps, ads for therapy ketamine, NFT obsession phases, life extension experiments, the gig worker burnout cycle, jail time, OnlyFans exhaustion, eviction notices from big corporations, and finally a dopamine ward as the modern version of the old madhouse. Every Every single panel looks like something an artist would spend days polishing. And this model drops all eight panels in seconds, keeping the tone, the faces, and the entire storyline stable from start to end. When you compare this with the original Nano Banana or even the Gemini 2.5 flash image model, the difference looks like 12 years of progress compressed into one update. Even Cadream 4.0, which used to be the king of benchmarks, now feels like it was built on older ideas. One of the biggest reasons for this massive jump is something no one else is doing. Nano Banana Pro pulls live data from Google search. In the shard example, the stock ticker numbers projected onto the building were not hallucinations. They were the exact real-time values from that moment. No other image model right now can access real-world data like this. When you ask for a topographic map of London made out of embroidered felt, it does not create random shapes pretending to be geography. It creates something you could actually imagine hanging in a restaurant. It keeps the river shapes, the district outlines, the natural elevation. And yes, it still makes small mistakes like misplacing a skyline building in the distance. But for a model that grounds its visual in live search data, this is a completely new level of realism. What makes it even more impressive is how it handles composition. You can throw Goku, SpongeBob, and Squirtle into the same prompt and ask for a professional IMAX-style double exposure movie poster, and it will blend every style correctly. It shows Goku attacking, SpongeBob reacting, Squirtle spinning water on the side, all inside layered exposure effects that look like real poster art. If you run that same prompt on Cadream 4.0 or the original Nano Banana, the output looks like something from early 2023. Just random characters floating around with no real connection. These upgrades also change the cost structure. The Gemini 3 Pro image tier that powers Nano Banana Pro is more expensive. High resolution outputs cost around seven or eight times more than the original Nano Banana. Medium resolution is about three or four times more. It is not the fastest model either. But when you compare it with OpenAI's high resolution model, Nano Banana Pro still ends up cheaper. Even if OpenAI releases GPT Image 2 later, at this moment Google has the lead in this exact category. Another major update is Synth ID. This system embeds an invisible watermark in every image the model creates. You can upload any picture into the Gemini app and ask whether or not Nano Banana Pro made it. It will tell you. Google plans to expand this watermark system to text, audio, and video too. Free tier outputs already show a visible watermark unless you switch to high tier tools like AI Studio or Developer Settings. Next, let us talk about how smart this model has become. The infographic examples alone show that Nano Banana Pro is not just drawing pictures. It is reasoning through information. It can generate maps of historical events like the Black Death with correct dates, correct spread patterns, and visually clever designs. 
But this is also where the risk appears. A tiny incorrect label or one misplaced word, like marking Paris as spared, can slip through even though the area was absolutely affected in real history. Since the rest of the image looks perfect, people might not double check that one word. The closer these models get to perfection, the easier it becomes for small mistakes to go unnoticed. Spatial awareness is another area where the jump is massive. If you upload a hedgehog photo and tell the model to place it inside a cottage doorway scene with matching lighting and a man looking down at it, Nano Banana Pro places it almost exactly how a human would imagine. The older version of Nano Banana produced outputs that barely match the scene. Even strong models like Seamream sit somewhere in the middle. Nano Banana Pro feels like it understands physical layout instead of just matching patterns. The comic strip example takes this to a new level. You can upload a mouse character you designed years ago in mid-journey. Then, you can tell Nano Banana Pro to create a four-panel comic with a turtle partner, consistent personality traits, matching speech bubbles, and a real punchline. And it actually works. The mouse keeps the satchel. The attitude stays the same. The turtle stays grumpy. The slang and tone stay matched across all panels. Then you tell it to continue the story on a medieval ship, and it keeps the personalities and vibes stable. Maybe a hat disappears once or an arrow shifts, but the continuity is still far above older models. Google also showed their multi-character character scene cloning. You can merge up to 14 reference photos of different people into one scene, and the model keeps each person recognizable from different angles, something only professional studios could do before. The level of control is what really sets Nano Banana Pro apart. You can adjust camera angles, depth of field, lighting style, color grading, shadow brightness, and outfit consistency. You can change daytime scenes into night scenes, shift the mood, update the layout, brighten dark corners, and still keep everything consistent across the entire set. It supports clean 2K and 4K outputs and you can choose different aspect ratios from ultra-wide cinematic to square. The new localized edit tools allow extreme precision. You can draw small marks on a photo to indicate exactly where you want new details added. If you draw a rough circle on a girl's photo and ask for a cowboy hat, a guitar, and a cat on the table, it adds all three. And it even updates the reflection of the guitar on the table surface, even though you did not highlight that area. The real-world data examples make the model look even more impressive. You can upload a Google Analytics screenshot and ask it to adjust your clicks to 90,000, impressions to 1.2 million, and update the line graph to match. The model updates the axis, redraws the curve, fixes the colors, and keeps everything aligned. Older models failed badly at this. The same thing happens with benchmark data. If you upload MMLU Pro numbers, GPQA Diamond reasoning scores, or tool use scores, Nano Banana Pro can turn them into elegant charts with perfect labels and matching colors. It is not guessing. It is understanding the numbers behind the picture. The medical example is another big jump. When given a scan with four lesion markers, Nano Banana Pro detected almost all of them. The older models either missed them completely or hallucinated extra shapes. It still makes a rare mistake, but the accuracy is far higher now. For fictional characters, it identifies outfits from shows like ReZero, Demon Slayer, South Park, or Snow White with a level of precision older models could not touch. It still struggles with extreme rare species like the Sri Lanka slender loris, recognizing the general family but missing tiny details. But every other model performs worse in that area, and it still cannot get clock times correct. If you ask for 11.15 drawn inside a full wine glass, the glass will be correct, but the clock will show a random time. This seems to be a deeper limitation of how models handle rotation and numbers. The world grounding examples might be the most shocking part. If you paste real GPS coordinates from Hong Kong, Nano Banana Pro generates the actual building from that location, the correct skyline behind it, and the real street atmosphere of that district. Other models show generic city streets. When you upload a floor plan, it creates interior designs with proper placement of every wall, door, piano, and lighting angle. If you upload a photo of your apartment, it creates a matching two-dimensional floor plan. Older models failed badly at this. The Gundam test shows its understanding of objects. If you upload a Gundam figure and ask for a breakdown of its components, it will lay out the wings, armor plates, stickers, joints, and weapons in a way fans can easily recognize. And when asked to create model sheets showing front, side, and back views, it keeps weapon placement like the twin swords consistent. That brings us to the end. Tell me in the comments what you think Google is trying to achieve with this level of intelligence. Make sure you subscribe and hit like if this helped. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.